Let me entertain you. Come on, let me entertain you. All right, hello there. Uh, we're here with uh, Juan Ricondo. And uh, he, hello, Juan, how are you doing? Hello, you good, and you? Uh, fine. Juan is a singer. And he's an actor and a singer. He's uh, he was born in Santander, and now he's based in Germany, right? Yep. You're based in Germany, and then he's just traveling back and forth to LA, where he wow. is uh, he's starting uh, or consolidating a uh, a singing career, right? So I hope I hope so. Okay, very cool. So how often are you are you going to uh, to LA? Juan? I go there every year for uh -huh. the last four years. And um, I, I normally spend like month, two months, month and a half, two months, because um, the rest of the time I'm working in Germany. All right. Um, as a singer and as a performer. Mm -hmm. So I'm lucky enough to say that I'm living out of my profession. That is, that is really cool. That's really cool. And, and I'm uh, very blessed. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. And uh, how long have you been uh, singing, Juan? Um, well, like, like you well said, I wanted to be an actor. Mm hmm. Um, since I was a kid, yes. um, I remember my first memory as a kid was when I was five years old and I said to my mother, uh, mom, I want to be an American actor. No? And, <laughs> That's uh, and really I was, cool. It's really funny being, uh, because I was just a kid yes. um, and being a kid from Spain. So it was like weird, no? So um, I want to be an actor. So I've, I've trained myself and I've pursued uh, the acting career. But uh, I've always been singing. I've always like as, a, as, a, as a, an amateur. Mm hmm um, just like like playful yes. way of doing it, never professional. But um, I've always liked big voices, yes. like um, opera, like Placido Domingo or um, Tom Jones, Frank uh -huh. Sinatra, and Pop World, or Elvis Presley, Aretha Franklin. Like 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 I said, I used to play. My, my parents used to have a wide collection of, of records, vinyl mm -hmm. records. Yes. yes. So before I I went to school, I used to play a vinyl record. Johnny B. Good actually, Elvis Presley, yeah, okay. Johnny B. Good. Oh, that's awesome. And, um, and yeah, and I was I was just pretending that I was Elvis, just singing out loud, but never like like uh, professionally. I just wanted to be an yes. actor, no. But everybody was telling me you, you have a voice, you should you should train. And I'm like, no, I want to be an actor. But um, slowly but surely, uh -huh. uh, I started to have some lessons. Yes. And um, and I decided to. To train myself as a singer because um, I started to have more more work as a singer than an actor. But definitely, but before before talking about that, uh, you started yeah. you went to Madrid and uh, you started uh, you started uh, learning how to be an actor, right? Learning how to act in Madrid yeah. for for a, for a while for a few years, right? Yeah, when when I was um, I think it was when I finished my um, my my law school mm -hmm. because I went to the law university as oh, well. No kidding. Okay. Yeah, you're a lawyer. Well, no, I wanted to be. No, <laughs> it's not that I wanted to be, but I, yes. I, I had to finish it. My parents told me, "Okay, we we we're gonna support your art, artistic career, uh, career, but good. you have to have something something aside just in case." That's good. A good but piece I said, of advice. I don't I don't care about the rest. I just don't like anything. And here in Santander, we don't have much opportunity. I mean, much uh, choices. Uh -huh. So um, I, I've picked up just uh, the law, the law school. Mm -hmm. Very so cool. um, at the same time that I was doing the acting, I was doing um, the law, the law degree. So I finished it, and as soon as I finished, it, I moved to Madrid mm -hmm. to keep on studying at the um, Teatro de Cámara, Ángel Gutiérrez School. Very cool. For five years. Yes. And when I finished those five years, I received a scholarship, yes. a beca. A scholarship is a beca, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then you moved uh, to the uh, the U.S. Yeah, I moved to New York to the uh, Lee Strasberg Institute, uh -huh. and um, and I was already. I was already 24, 25 mm -hmm. when I moved to to New York. So I was I was a late singer, yes. let's say. I was singing before like in, in clubs and pubs in Madrid. Yes. I had a, a jazz mm -hmm. quartet. Mm -hmm. But never never like like this is what I want cuz yes. Like, yeah. And and then, then it was when you went to New York and then you decided to start singing professionally then, right? Yeah. In New York while I was studying acting and directing uh, one of my teachers uh, had a, a, a jazz combo, a jazz trio quartet, yeah. and he said, I need a singer, would you mind? I'm like, me, Spanish guy in, New <laughs> in Manhattan singing Frank Sinatra, they're going to crucify me, they're going to kill me. Yeah. But, but no, it worked. Swing 46 was my first club in New York, in Manhattan. Awesome. And uh, it worked out, 
a bit accent, of course, Spanish accent, but it's sexy over there. Yeah. So, uh, well, you sound really good. Yeah. You, your English is awesome. We'll talk about that later. Thank you very much, indeed. Yeah. Thank you very much. And, and and so then you started to sing, and then and then yeah. you then you moved to LA, right? Or well, I, came back, I came back to Madrid. You came back here. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, I I tried to to record a few things in in Spain, mm -hmm. and then um and then I decided to to keep on working but differently. So that's why I I first moved to Germany. Oh, very cool. Because uh, they they hired me there to just perform, and then from Germany I, I moved to LA, and that's why I've now have now the uh, the album out. Very cool. And also, uh, uh, are you taking uh, or did you take in the past uh, singing lessons to train your voice, to train your, yeah. yourself how to sing? Yeah, that's that's very important, actually, because even even if you have a voice mm -hmm. or if you have the talent, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that you, that you can um, sing. You mm -hmm. have to, oh, of course, you're able to sing, but you have to, to train it. And, and, and make it stronger and better. So I, I've always been aware of that. It's like going to the gym. Absolutely. Uh, if you have the, the predisposition to the gym, it's a waste of time and talent if you don't train yourself or your workout. So with a voice, which is like another instrument, um, if, and I'm working out of my voice, yes. you have to keep it healthy and, um, and trained. So I, I was always aware of that. So um, I've always had teachers. In yeah. New York, was my, uh, I had my, my, my two first official mm -hmm. professional teachers Patty Dunham and um, Jeff Buckley mm -hmm. and then and then my my biggest um, yeah. discovery was in LA mm -hmm. with uh, Gary Katona Gary Katona yes which was the uh, uh, the vocal coach of uh, Whitney Houston Frank Sinatra Robin Thicke um, very cool Ian Himes most recently Katy Katy Perry Katy Perry yes Rita Ora Lord Man, that's so, a, that's a huge contact. Yeah. That's awesome, and uh, he did a yeah. great job. Oh yeah, good job. I've seen you singing, and man, that's top of the game. Uh, congratulations, yeah. really. And uh, talking about your last album, it was out a couple of months ago, and it's called Yeah. All right, that, very, it's that, an, that, an American that, affair. It looks really good. That beautiful boy is me. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Really cool. It, yeah, and th that 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 cover is a. Yeah. Uh, it's actually a picture, right? It's a picture of yeah. a, a drawing. Oh, so to speak. A yeah, for it's painting. a painting, yes. Yeah, a friend of mine called Jose Manuel Ciria, which is a huge painter mm -hmm. in, I mean, he's original from Spain. I yeah. met him in New York in 2005. So he, we just printed a huge, a huge picture, two meters per two meters, mm -hmm. and then he painted on top. Yeah. And then we took a, we took a picture of this painting, which is, that's which a, is the, that's the, the final the result. Public. The album cover. That, yeah. that's, it, have, it looks really awesome. Yeah, I love it. And then how how is it how are you doing? How is the album doing so far? Good. It's been it's been um well we had the digital edition uh two months ago. Mm -hmm. Uh like it was available on iTunes, Spotify, mm -hmm. uh, Amazon Music, yep. Google yep. Play and all that. And then just three days ago, two or three days ago. Um, it is available physically, like this. The city yes. is, uh -huh. is physically available on my website. Juan All right. Ricando. So people oh. want in, uh, if people want to buy it, then they need to go to the double three w uh, and yep. then they can order it from there, right? Exactly. Only, only there, because my original idea mm -hmm. was to just release a digital edition, not physical edition. Uh -huh. But then I, I get, I got caught myself into the. Uh, emotional yeah you need to have whatever. something yes i'm like yeah actually i want to have a vinyl and a cd so we're going to have the cd that is already out and the vinyl soon only on juanricondo.com that's very cool all right and then uh how how I, buy it. i will i will do it right away to buy it <laughs> plus it's in english so it's uh because you're singing in english you're singing in spanish so tell us about that yeah, we have, uh, this is an EP, so we have four, um, it's like an appetizer mm -hmm. album. Yep. What is going to be like the, um, it's, it's an EP, which is like four tracks, yes. three of them English, one of them Spanish. That's really cool. And, um, and it's going to be like what is going to happen after, which is like a full 10 tracks album now. Very cool. But yes, I, I write my songs in English, and I, I write and compose yes. music and lyrics in English and in Spanish. Exactly, you play the guitar too, I've heard. <laughs> And that's what. As good as I used to. Oh, yeah. well, well, that's fine. It's, it's just enough to be making your songs, right? You play the guitar too, right? Yes, I do. I play, I've been play, playing guitar since I was eight, so it's, it's, I love it. It's uh, good voice as well. Uh, well, I can, I can <laughs> sing in tune. I can sing on time. That's uh, so maybe your next tour, I can be playing doing back vocals for you. 
What do you think? Hey, hey I, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that then. All right. So, and um, I'm now, for example, the last time you went to LA was uh, just a week ago, right? You've yeah, been there for a month? Yeah, I was. Well, this time I was there only two weeks because we were promoting the album. Mm -hmm. uh, with a very good friend of yours and, and mine, Silvia yes. Cal. Oh, and she's your, your PR, right? I she's the PR. Your, your uh, public she's relationship, right? Okay. Yeah. Very she's, cool. Yeah. Is, she, is she a good one? Yeah, she's a, she's a great woman, uh, an outstanding human being. Yeah, and she has a lot of contacts, huh? Yeah, and a tough, tough worker. I'm <laughs> her. She's like, and, and she's so beautiful. She's a gorgeous woman in, in and out. Yeah, and and when I first met her, was in a in a birthday party of another Spanish celebrity mm -hmm. in LA, um, an actress. Mm -hmm. um, and and when I first met her, I said, I "Think I know you?" But I don't. I, and then she said, "I also think I know you." But I don't. Facebook? Well, we are not on Facebook. So how is it that I think I know you, but we don't know each other? And then it just happened to be like, "What are you doing?" I said, "Well, I'm a singer. I just released an album. And I'm looking for a PR." And she said. I am a PR. You found the right person. Oh. So now she's yeah. promoting you here and there. She's taking you to TV shows. She's taking you to yeah. radio stations. Yes, yeah. I saw you like last week. You guys were on Telemundo, right? Yeah, that, that and that's a huge TV channel right there. Yeah. It was a morning show. That's why for all of you guys who are going to look at the video, my face is like that and my eyes like that because oh. it was a morning show. Oh, really? No, I, I saw it and but, you didn't look bad. No. Yeah, it was just the makeup. <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, it, it was called Acceso Total, yes. which is a morning show and apparently is really, really big in South America, because mm -hmm. uh, Telemundo is huge there, mm -hmm. and also in the United States. Yeah. And um, and yeah, and, and we've been there, we've been also in um, uh, Azteca TV, mm -hmm. and all the, all the um, interviews that will, will be released soon. That's awesome. How do, how do you find the, uh, the American music industry system compared to what it is like in Spain? Like here you need to work hard and only yeah. to play in little venues and uh, barely yeah. making any money. And then it is difficult to show in, on TVs and stuff, I guess, uh, 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 yeah. at least here in Spain. And what is it like compared to what it is like in, in, in the U.S.? Well, first of all, it's bigger. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a bigger market. Mm -hmm. So everybody has an opportunity. Spain, uh, even though, um, even though I would love to, it's, it's like I don't know. I don't know how to say in English, but in Spanish is "uno no es profeta en su tierra," no? Yeah, I don't even know what it is. Uh, Maybe uh, some of it, some of the sayings, they're not in in English, but that's English, so no. typical in in Spanish. There must be something. Well, I, English I would love to, out. as much as I would love to be, um, or I would love to achieve what I've achieved outside my country. In my country, mm -hmm. I gotta say that uh, uh, the Spanish industry is small. Mm -hmm. And uh, the budget is smaller, mm -hmm. so they don't give uh, a chance or an opportunity to new talent mm -hmm. as much as they do it outside, as much as they do it in the United States. Mm -hmm. That plus the fact that now the music industry is is in a new scenario. Absolutely. Like, like I was saying in, a, in an interview recently, I think we have like a democracy mm -hmm. in the music industry now. Like the cake is still the same size. But now everybody has access to a piece. Absolutely, yes. So you can make a way of living, but yes. you're not going to be like the Guns N' Roses that when they were le releasing an, a single on Monday Absolutely. and they buy a Ferrari and a mansion on Friday. Yeah. So it's totally different now. You, thanks to, to YouTube, uh -huh. Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, mm -hmm. iTunes, everybody in a laptop, yeah. you can produce your own music. You don't need to hire a super duper Capitol Records yes. studio. So the competition and, is huge. Yeah, exactly. Everybody has access to music. Everybody has options, but it's, it is really difficult. Plus, it is very exactly. difficult to have the support of a company because they cannot make yeah. money out of it. That's the other thing, right? Exactly. I mean, you gotta, you get, that's why now, and I'm, and I'm living through this, uh, I'm going through this process as well. Everybody that, that I, I mean, I knock on many doors and they say, well, you're, 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 you have talent, you have all the goods, you have the looks, you have presence and all that, you have good voice, the music, blah, 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 blah. Yes, but you have to show me something that, that will stand you up. Yep, from the and, rest. Uh, from the rest. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I want to stand you up. So is that, that's the main, the main uh, uh, issue mm -hmm. in the music industry right now. 
how to make it yeah. among others. Yeah. See, that's I like it. how you say that. How to make it? How to make it? Because uh, that tells uh, your English is is bilingual level. You know, most Spanish okay. speakers we say how to make it. You know, we say <laughs> how to make it. Repeat that. How to make it. How to make it. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, our, our th- very American. You can uh, say. How to make it. Yeah, or you could say, Harry, really? Harry Potter, how did you Harry make Potter. it? <laughs> but the chances are, if you pronounce like the real thing, like yeah. the uh, the uh, native speaker would, then uh, you're going to get to understand them. So that's why we're telling our students, guys, if you say, uh, I don't know how to do it. Or if you say, uh, what do you want me to do? Then chances yeah. are you're going to get them to understand songs and music because that's the way they speak. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, so sorry. Even, so, though I have a, even though I have a weird accent. Because no, you... you We'll, we'll talk about that later, but it's, your English is awesome. But uh, yeah, uh, going back to uh, going back to what we're talking about, uh, don't you think still that uh, the, the the talent in the U.S., especially music and uh, yeah. and show business related, is more valued than in Spain? Um, I mean, as soon as you arrive there and you show your talent, that's it. They, 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 if they see you're, you have a talent, they, that opens yeah. doors immediately. But here you have to demonstrate it over and over again. Exactly. Then if you make it to the top, then they're gonna they're gonna say, okay, good, you're good, and then you have open doors. Yeah. But it is really difficult to stand out with because yeah. there's no support at all, right? To that's, me, to me, it's like because it's true that in Europe we are always like, oh, America, oh, America, and in America they are like, oh, Europe, oh, yeah. Europe. You know, we have like class, education, all that. For so Americans are like, like that, no. But it's true that every time, every time that I go to the U.S. and and I just sing, and I, I am very humble singing, like, hey, I'm trying to make it because I think, wow, in America they are super pro, yeah. they are super. super performers super professionals i gotta be at the same level i gotta be at the same which is good because i am a very ambitious guy mm-hmm. but at the same time it's like you have to be cautious sh- yes yeah you should you got you you cannot fuck it up yeah. why why they're gonna want me if they have these these amazing vocal singers mm-hmm. uh, um, vocal performers dancers i am nobody here yeah but the minute that they that i, I perform on stage they are like wow you're good that's it well, you're, you're gonna make it and you are like Really? <laughs> well, that's the it. thing that, that that I love that um, that positive um, mentality in the U.S. You do something right, they, everybody tells you, "Yeah, do it. You can make it. You're really good." Exactly. Well, here uh, it's not so obvious. So here we yeah, tend to it's... not not to tend not to say the good things about people and then you know make fun of silly things. Uh, but uh, but in the U.S., uh, the, the minute you're good at something, then you have a lot of people supporting you, and more and so much so in uh, everything anything related to music and the uh, business industry. It, they just they can see it coming right away. Yeah. Well, well, basically they've they've invented the the show business. That's it. That's it. That's it. I mean, they they just they just know that they have the 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 eye and the nose yeah, and they smell. It. They have a good, good eye thing. for that. Yes, exactly. So when they see something that potentially can make money out of it, mm-hmm. they just invest. They just invest. <laughs> there are a lot of it's true in Hollywood actually in, in LA. There are a lot of people with, because also you have the Silicon Valley guys mm-hmm. with all this the technology uh, and stuff. Yes, technology and all that. So there's a sort of uh, billionaires there mm-hmm. with a lot of money, and so they they're invest, looking for chances invest, to invest. Yes, yeah, they just invest in art, in paintings, in music, in movies, in whatever. Maybe to just the laundry, the money a little bit. Yes. Who knows? <laughs> but but there's a lot of money, so they don't they don't feel uh, uh, they don't feel bad or they don't feel ashamed of like oh, a couple of millions here. If it doesn't work in out, there, yes, uh, it's fine. So, but they also have that mentality of let's go for it. Yeah, yeah. let's go for it. In Spain, we we are very conservative. Yes, I know. So we are not going to invest at all levels, even in the um, in the medic in the medicine as well, mm. or in the uh, Other, companies, yes. technology. We, we are not going to invest unless we think this is going to work. Yeah, so we always think, what if it doesn't work? Yeah, we uh, but just so we we have a lot of a lot of. Uh, uh, we were really afraid of risk taking, you know, taking risk, and uh, that that's also cultural. And when in the United States on lanzados, they're like, just go getters, okay, we'll do it. Yeah. Then they have a lot of money. Plus, is the origins, all the origins of rock and roll and pop music and everything is there, and is the yeah. language, and is yeah, it's like a lot of things. And uh, one last thing, I wanted to talk to you about your English. Uh, how yeah. come it is so good? You're totally bilingual. You're so fluent. Uh, yeah. Your accent is awesome. Uh, Thank you. Tell us about that. How did you learn? How long have you been learning? Your parents, uh, any of your parents is bilingual or how did you learn? No, no, nobody in my family. Well, now 
I'm nobody in my family speak English. Mm-hmm. Um, now yes, yes. Now yes, my, my mother and my brother speak English. But um, I'm talking about when I was a kid. Yeah. Nobody is from. I mean, we are all pure Spanish. Yes. Like all the bloodline yes. is from Spain. Uh-huh. I don't have like people from England or from America. But like I said, at a very early age, I knew that I wanted to entertain. Uh, I knew that I wanted to be on stage. Yes. Yeah. So to me, it was like unconsciously through the movies through the tv to me it was like i was looking for example the fantastic car yeah yeah um uh, but i don't i don't know i know it's not a fantastic car i don't know what they call it i'm a kid from the 80s so all these tv series no i was i was watching at them and i was like fascinated so these are the movies these are the tv shows i want to be an american actor and you're learning (laughs) that's the first step so I, i wanted it I yeah. wanted it mm-hmm. since since I was a kid, and I was like learning English, like I was eating the books. And uh, I'm a, so, so you you basically went to school, regular English classes. Then you you yeah, went like to yes, yeah. And then you English classes in the institute in the school. Uh, yeah, school high school, school, high school. Yes, and then and then you you moved to England for a while or what? Yeah, yeah. My parents, when I was uh, a teenager, I think I was fifteen or fifteen, no, sixteen years old. They sent you there for a while. Yeah. They sent me to the uh, Wycliffe College in uh-huh. the south of England. Yeah. Um, and I spent there like a whole summer private school, just like being exposed to the English uh, uh, language. Very cool. And then, and then from there, I, um, I, I took it in, and I went to. I just live in London as well. Then I moved to New York. Uh-huh. Uh, then I came back to Germany. In Germany, um, even though it's, it's really bad, I don't speak a word in German. <laughs> you're, I using, tried, you're using English all the time, yes. But I sing. Uh, I sing in English, and I I talk to my colleagues in English. They all talk in English as well. Very good. So, and then I moved to LA. So I've been constantly exposed to the language. Yes. But also, and you have a, a good. La- and I can tell you also have a good ear. The the, the ear of a musician, and it's it's uh, you because you need to be a perfectionist if you want to speak a good language, right? I mean, a good English. I mean, because the, the, yeah. the pronunciation patterns are so different from Spanish that you oh, always yeah. need to keep an eye on what you're saying, right? Oh yeah, and and if and if you are a professional like I am in the music industry, uh, many times I had to address to musicians, mm-hmm. to my guitar player, to my mm-hmm. musical director, to the drummer, to yeah. the pianist, or even to to a, a PR or maybe to a manager, yeah. to a TV interviewer like you. Uh, you have to address to them with technical words. Yes, yeah. you don't want to look like a wanker. <laughs> you don't, of course, you don't want to look like an asshole. Like. Yeah. This guy that looks like superstar, that is a singer, and he doesn't know how to talk. Yeah, like that. he does. He's mispronouncing this word, or he's like, because you look like a stupid guy. Absolutely, like yes. Stupid. I'm always telling my students that the people that I talk to normally, that the better English, the better English you speak, the be- the better you sound, the better they're going to think about you. You know, they're they gonna respect they, you. They respect exactly. You. They're gonna respect you better. They're gonna think you look better. You look taller. Everything because that's yeah. the way you sound. You can have yeah, a exactly. very good write written English, but if you sound bad, they're gonna think you're less intelligent. They're gonna think you're going to be less prepared. They're gonna yeah. think they're gonna respect you much less. I'm gonna put you an example. Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Governor of California. Yep. He's a very clever man. Yeah. Out of the image that he's projecting, mm-hmm. or that people think that he is, mm-hmm. he's a very ambitious guy, yeah, and he yes. achieved everything he wanted. He said, "I want this," and he got it. Yeah, absolutely. He's very, very determined he's on what a, he wants. He's a go-getter, yeah. Exactly, and he's an example, actually. Yeah. He seeks rules of success. He is, I mean, he's, yeah, he's not yeah. just a bodybuilder. He arrived to, to the to the governor mm-hmm. um, uh, place, not a chair. But look at him. Mm-hmm. Look at his accent. Mm-hmm. How long he's been in America? Forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He yeah. still has this he's, Austrian he's, yeah, tough Very, accent. very strong accent, yes. That's why people do not respect Absolutely. him. Absolutely. That's it. That's it. Because you need but, to be... But, but look at him. Look at him. He, well, he doesn't because, matter. He's the president of the United States. Yeah, be, his accent <laughs> is what the thing that he's, he's pulling you apart, away. Uh, uh-huh. So it's like, yes, the guy, the guy is good and he achieved a lot of things. But... Yeah, he yeah. sounds yeah. stupid. Yeah. He sounds like yeah, yeah. 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 That's that thing that keeps you like. I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that, and I also think like people in the music industry, you guys need to have a good accent because you're singing. Yeah. You don't want to uh, sound weird, and also actors too. Actors and actresses, uh, if they don't have a really good accent or really a standard. English American accent, they go to wind up having the the character yeah. of a Mexican or South American, and that's only one per movie. While the other yeah. way around, you can have many many other options. 
And exactly. so, so uh, and then and then related to English, so, so it definitely opens doors. What do you think? It's opens opening doors for you. Do you, do you recommend definitely. everybody learn English? And uh, but I definitely recommend English because it's Spanish is the second uh, uh, most important language in the world, but English still is still um, the first, not by population, but yes, by business wise. And you usage. have to learn it. And, and let's you put it, have to learn it. Let, let's put it this way. If you speak Spanish as your home language and you speak single language like English, you yeah. can do anything in the world. You can do a lot of anything. businesses. You can be teaching Spanish. You can be teaching English. You can be doing Look business. At you. Oh, yeah. That's what I, that's what I, you know, you know, you know, I, I, I was, uh, I have a master's on uh, humanidades, humanities. So I decided oh, yeah. to learn English when I was 25 from scratch. You know, I just had, well, that's, I, I that's had a job interview in the Chicago. Uh, okay. I had I, I had just turned 25. I have five months months to prepare it, and then I I made it. So uh, and then after okay. that, I've been yeah. Thank you. I just been devoted to that. Even though my training is on you know geography, history, humanities, but uh, yeah, it opens doors to the point that it's not my official training, and I'm just totally devoted to this. So and I like to ask people like you that is it's just uh, you guys using English so much just to um. Uh, tell people how important it is and how many doors it opens, yes, both for acting, singing, and uh, anything else, right? Totally, totally. I, I, I hardly recommend it. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, I think it's so obvious that I shouldn't, I shouldn't recommend it. Oh, because yeah, absolutely. absolutely. A, blind, a blind can see it. Now, yeah. you, you have to have it, even though, even though you, you don't want to leave Spain or whatever, you have to have English for, for, many, for many, many reasons. And that, now, now one last recommend, right? One last rec see, I'm making a mistake, which is recommendation is recommendation. One last right. recommendation that you would give to uh, to musicians in Spain, musicians specifically, singers, guitar players, you name it, whatever. What would you tell them if they feel like going to the U.S., what they should be doing, yeah. etc.? Well, I would say just one thing: work hard. Mm -hmm. No pain, no gain. Oh, it's a good one. No pain, no gain. I love that one. Yeah, it is, it is like that. It is, it is a really, really tough moment right now. Uh -huh. But I am the living example. Oh, absolutely. Of, you of, said it in an of, example, definitely. Yeah, that you can make it if if you love it and if you want it. Yeah. Um, it is tough. It is hard. But like Camilo Josefela, a great author, a great mm -hmm. writer, mm -hmm. uh, said, is not is not uh, um, the ones the ones who make it, I'm trying to translate it from Spanish. Yeah, go ahead. It's not, the ones who make it are not the ones who just arrived, uh -huh. but just the ones who just stay constantly Absolutely. pursuing their career. Mm -hmm. So it's a long, it's a long path. Yeah. The 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 situation right now is totally different. Now a manager or a, or a A and R or an agent. They're not gonna w go and watch you performing mm -hmm. or singing and say, "Oh, this guy is gonna be the next, whatever, uh, uh, Justin Bieber." Or this band is gonna be the next U two. It doesn't happen like that, mm -hmm. um, like like it used to be yeah. before. But you have other tools, like yeah. like I say, YouTube. You have your MacBook Pro. You have your friends. Absolutely. I've just I've just produced by myself. It's all like my own budget. Mm -hmm. um, this album uh, is four tracks. It's produced by J D Salbego. Who used to work with Demi Lovato and Jason Derulo? No and Sean kidding. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Hold your horses. So he uh, was his name. Say it again. The producer, J. right? J D Salbego. Oh, and, and he used to work with uh, with uh, Demi Lovato and uh, and Jason Derulo, right? Yeah, that is awesome. How, and also, how, 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 how did you make that contact? That, that's what I'm trying to say. And also, Sean Hamilton, that just recently worked with Justin Bieber. <laughs> so me. A, a little guy from Santander just managed to arrive to LA, produce his own album with his own budget, w after working hard many years, and got these contacts, like these two producers, super duper producers that I wanted to work with. And it's all about like, um, like I want to go there. Yeah. I'm Capricorn. You, so, yes. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm, like, You're almost like I'm, I'm an Aquarius. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Capricorn. So it's like if I want to go to the top of the mountain, nobody's gonna stop me. <laughs> So, have you, as long as you have, uh, well, there is a will, there is a way, you know. Yeah. As yeah. as long as you have the guts and and you have the glory, yeah. you want to go for it, you just go for it. So basically, you need to have a goal and then just go for it. That's the thing, and the yeah. be persistent and and just trust your trust yourself, right? You need to have yeah. a lot of self confidence exactly. and a lot of training, a lot of working hard. 
That's very good. I, I believe you're setting a great example. A lot of the musicians that are, uh, if they're watching you, they, they need to feel like doing them like you're doing. That's awesome. I mean, that, that's what I would love. I have a brother. My brother uh, is got also a rock band. He does. He, wow. Yeah, Moikabe, he's, he's, he's a very good, he's a very good um, guitar player that's and awesome. singer as well. And he's doing type of like Led Zeppelin meets Eric Clapton, mm -hmm. John Mayer, like that. Oh. And, and I, I wish I could have somebody like that might sound a bit cocky, but um, I wish I could have somebody like me in front of, of like like this computer uh, telling me what I'm telling to to your guys or to your uh, people right now. Yeah, like yeah. just go and do it. Yeah, go because it's always fine to to watch people like I said Arnold Schwarzenegger or like movie stars or like mm -hmm. superstars telling. Oh, what would you say to your fans? What would you say to future singers? Yeah, but it's a big gap. It's like yeah. you're talking about. Tom Jones and yeah. me. Yeah, it's just so of course what he's going to say. Million, yeah, yes. But how about somebody closer? I am closer to you and or to people yeah. like me. It's a than mid, Tom Jones it's a mid, it's a middle point there, and then you're living out. You're making a living out of it, so it's pretty exactly. cool. It's a setting an exa a real example that it's achievable by pretty much anybody who sets their mind to it, right? Exactly. That's, that's what why. We're that's why is is my my suggestion. Just like work hard and do it. It's not easy. To my brother, I'm telling, I'm telling him now, because of course he likes Santander, he likes Spain, the way of living here is fantastic. But I said, just, just leave your country like <laughs> you I have did. to make a move, if yes. Make, if you want to make it, nobody's going to come to your door and knock on your door and say, oh, you're going to be the next uh, uh, Frank Sinatra or Elvis Presley. Just work your ass off. Go and do it. If you think you have talent and you think you can make it and you believe in yourself, everybody will believe in yourself. That's it. That's the Bible, it. even even though I'm not, I'm not a very religious guy, I'm a spiritual guy, but I'm not religious. The Bible says everybody just move aside when they see a man who knows where he's going. Yeah, and it, it is it's like contagious. It's contagious. And it can see, it, everybody can see you coming, and they know your intentions. And it's uh, and, uh, and that's, yeah. that's managers also, managers, agents. They say, you know what? I don't care what you say. I know I'm good. I'm gonna make it. Yeah. Of course, you can't be stubborn, and you have to fix. Like, okay, if you have a voice, train it. If you have to change your looks because you're yeah. selling a product, yeah. change it. You need to be realistic. You, to, you need to be realistic. It's, you have to have some skills, okay. but uh, but you need to set your mind to it, and then everybody's gonna believe you because you believe in yourself. That's and that's what we do. Like to interview people like you, like Sylvia, we did uh, lately, and uh, Hema too, Hema Morena. Yeah. Because you uh -huh. all, you all have a kind of an attitude that is the best part of all. Of course. English yeah. is the excuse because we want the people to uh, we want people to see how you guys speak English yeah. and how it is opens doors and how you yeah. learned it and about your career. But the most important thing is the underlying attitude that you all guys have, and that is so contagious. Because negativism is is contagious, but uh, enthusiasm well, yeah. it is it is very very contagious too. So that's what we want to see about you. So thank you so much, and uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely, it's a pleasure. <laughs> I hope I can help somehow and learn English. Learn English, you people. That's it. That's it. I think I think because it's clear. If you want to make it, you have to transmit what I'm transmitting to you in both languages. You absolutely. Know, I've been with many with many people, actually Russians, mm -hmm. but they're very determined. Mm -hmm. in, in in Germany, I work with many Russians. Yeah. Um, they're very determined as well. They're very like tough workers. Yes. Germans as well. Germans are yes. it's true. They're square heads. Yeah. They are set up they're, for work. Russians are really uh, competitive yeah. too, very uh, excellent exactly. at what they do. Yeah, yes. but I have to say that when they are trying to explain to me or to encourage me and to tell me things, they are like, uh, mm, uh, because they can't talk, they can't speak yeah, absolutely. In English. Absolutely. So there is always a barrier. Yeah, a barrier, that they yes. Can't yeah. Come across. Yeah. So that's why English is when in this situation plays a massive role. Oh, yeah. Because if you can transmit what I'm transmitting to you in English and in Spanish. And it's like a major force. And especially and if you want to be persuasive, if you want to convince people, you want to be oh, fast. Yeah. You need to, you know, have that respect, and that that's important to have that fluency because otherwise it's going to be really difficult. But totally. uh, anyways, uh, thank you so much, um, Juan thank Juan you. Ricondo, and um, I wish you the best. I'll follow you thank closely, you and uh, I hope to see you again. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Ciao, bye, guys. Bye. Ciao. Let me entertain you.